boy DJ Lil King, you know what I'm saying? What's good with it? It's your boy DJ Lil King, you know what I'm saying? Riding High Podcast. We back with another one-on-one interview, you know what I'm saying? Today I got my dog, Alex Skates, up in here helping me with the interview today, you know what I'm saying? Today we got my dog representing that TMP, you know what I'm saying? Been putting it down for a long time with this rap shit, chasing rap dreams from a young age. California, back to Texas, you know what I'm saying? Places in between, you know what I'm saying? Dallas, Texas, all all over with this rap shit, you know what I'm saying? We got my dog, Droopy M, up in the building today representing that TMP, you know what I'm saying? What's good with it, man? Man, what's good? What's good, y'all? It's going down, baby. Chilling, chilling, man. For sure, for sure. Man, where you from, Droop? I'm from Corpus Christi, man. For sure. What part <laughs> of Corpus Christi, man? Uh, actually, man, I grew up right there in Anaville, man. Already. Right down the northwest side. What was it like growing up out there in Anaville as a youngster, man? Uh, nothing. I it's kind of the same thing right now, man. It's kind of country, but it's kind of not. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what part of Annaville did you live in? More like a city, the city version of Annaville, or were you living in like the country version of Annaville? No, nah, no, nah, I lived in the city version of Annaville. Oh, really? But I mean, but even, but even on top of that though, too, it's still like country, man. You know what I'm saying? Because like the city part, it, it'd be like it'd be like right here, it'd be like a block. Full of like houses, houses right next to each there. other, yeah. And then right across the street, baby, number field. Oh, yeah, so yeah. Like, oh, I feel you. Hell yeah, yeah, so it's hell kind yeah. of the same thing, though. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. And so, yeah, it was dope over there, man. It was dope. It was it was nice, man. It was a, it was a it was a weird upbringing, man. You know what I'm saying? Because not a at the time when I was growing up over there, man, there wasn't really a lot of Mexicans over there. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, so what was it like growing up around there with just a whole bunch of like was like like running around the neighborhood and shit, like going to school, like it's like Yeah, it was the same like pretty much the same thing, like, you know, just running around the school, man. People were fucking playing dodgeball, paintball and shit like that. Uh, people were actually popping BB guns out there and shit like that. Uh, so did you like these are kids doing like some white kid shit, but like some white kid with money type shit. Like, yeah, they had four, <laughs> they had four winners out there dog, you know what I'm saying? Fucking trampolines, dude. Uh, Damn. I, I had a I had a homeboy named Daniel Fan, man. He had a fucking half pipe in his backyard, bro. His fucking dad was a fucking uh, his dad was a was he worked he was a like the the fire chief dude or some shit like that. Bro. Oh shit, damn. You know what I'm saying like uh, we're when I was a kid, we're renting we're renting the trailer, man, on his property, bro. You know what I'm saying like his dad had two houses that was on, on his property, and we're renting the trailer over there like that. Oh really? And so like yeah, it was dope, bro. It was it was it was nice, man. It was alright. God damn, were you playing like any sports or anything growing up in like elementary or middle school? In elementary, nah, man. When I was in when I was in middle school, man, I started playing football, bro, over there. But I was going to Cal Alley, man. They had them big old white boys over there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh man, different like, breed over there, right? Yeah, it, they corn fed. Boys right? are you big. Know what I'm saying the boys are big, man. The boys got beards and everything. By the time of seventh grade, bro, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it was just like, not now. Like when I, I, I go to the I, I go to the games now, you know what I'm saying? They look like kids, kids now. You know what I'm saying? Back then, they didn't look like that. Hell yeah, yeah. It's about our age right now, you know. What I'm hell saying? yeah, <laughs> like, hell real. yeah. Shit, were you getting into like any trouble, anything like as a man, youngster? Dude, shit, hell yeah, I was getting in trouble, man. I, man, I'm, I was like a. What age you start getting in trouble? At? What start right man, there, man, bro? I, Not even like maybe even with like like the police or anything. I'm just talking about just like with maybe principals at school in the neighborhood or anything like that you can remember. Man, I was I was a bad kid, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Because I'm I'm almost looking at it like I'm probably figuring like growing up over there in that area, like a, it's a bunch of kids that's probably like spoiled because they probably have. I look at it, it's probably like both. You got like a bunch of haves over there and a bunch of have nots. Yeah, you, you do. You have a bunch of haves and have nots, and they they're all over there. They're together. all yeah, yeah. You know what I'm so saying? I'm so it's kind of it's kind of tripped out, man. Uh, the kids that are kind of like spoiled and shit, they probably yeah. like feel entitled and fucking. Also get away with a lot of shit type shit. No, nah, they they really do, man. Like check this out, man. Check this out. How how I ended up over there, man, was uh I don't know if you remember whenever they opened up Alan's Gardens over there, man. We were living over here in uh, in La Mother, man, when I was a kid kid. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And uh, they opened up Adam's Gardens over there, man. Over there for Violet, man. And what are those like? What are those like some apartments? Those are, the, those are the, the, another another set of projects. You know okay, what so they're they, projects, but yeah, in Annaville. But they, yeah, but they put them over there. But they put them right there in the in the middle of a suburb, bro. Oh shit! You know what I'm saying? So these are like live model style projects. Yeah. Okay. And they babe. put and they, they put them right in the fucking middle of a suburb. All the fucking number white people around. Damn. They got these fucking two story houses and all this. You know what I'm saying? They put us right in the middle of that shit, dog. So like, uh, we're we're. My mom and you know everybody at that though, we were like the like one of the first families, man, that, that actually filled up that spot, man. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Because whenever they put us in there, they were still building the back. Oh, already, yeah, you know hell what I'm yeah, hell they were yeah. still building the back and everything like that. That's how we ended up over there, man. 
And so, like, yeah, it was it was crazy, man. Like, the, the trouble that we were getting over there, man, like, okay, like you're saying, like, you're, the have-nots and the haves, you know yeah. what I'm saying, like this. When they put us in the middle of that fucking, in that, in that neighborhood, man, you know, all the little kids, they had bikes, man, they had trampolines, they had all those. Yeah. And so, like, you know, us, man, we running over there jacking bikes from home, dogs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? All that crazy shit, dog. And so, like, yeah, I mean, like, it was, it's been from the jump, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't really have a, I didn't really have a father figure back then. My mom was only, like, 14 years older than me, bro. Oh you know shit! What I'm saying so, like she was still a kid herself, dog, and we were living over there, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So she's doing her thing, and, and we running around doing our thing. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah! Those areas back then, I remember were were rich kids like that, whole Cal Allen and Annaville. So when you're saying like they all had bikes and shit, that is true, dog. Cause well, yeah, that's why I say is. it was like the have nots. Cause I remember it like is. some kids from like that area, like. And this was just what you would hear. It's either like it's the same shit with Flower Blood. For like a lot of people, make jokes about like. Oh, from Flower Bluff, from Flower Bluff. But, man, it's a lot of motherfuckers in Flower Bluff that got that bread. Yeah, like, don't nah, get shit fucked yeah, up, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And that's what the same thing when I think of, like, fucking Teloso and fucking, like, Adderville, like, Kyle Allen area. Like, I literally think of, like, it's literally the haves and the have-nots. You got the people that are living in the fucking big-ass fucking three fucking four-bedroom houses, two-story houses. But then you got the people who are living in the fucking trailers and shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like that, right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's, it's, it's literally both. Both. Yeah. And literally, maybe not even know in between. It's nah, damn near what it seems yeah, like. You know nah, what I'm saying? That's, 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 that's exactly what it is. Right there, man. There's really no in between. There's people that have money over there and there's people who don't have money. Bro. Yeah, hell and yeah. And it's crazy, man, is that they're all, over, they're all together over there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the trip. That's, it's a trip that spot, man. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. When you start fucking around with like the music shit, man. I was about, I started fucking around with music shit when I was about like 14, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my my homeboy Bobby Stump, man. You know, shout out Bobby Stump, DJ Stump. You know what I'm saying? Free B, free di- free Bobby free Stump, Bobby man. Stump, dog, free DJ shit. Stump, man. He's sitting down for a little bit over there. Safe P. Hell yeah, man. And so like, yeah, he is. Uh, his dad bought him some uh, some some, some turntables, man. I remember he was telling his dad he wanted to start DJing and shit. And so his dad went over there and bought him the whole spot, bro. You know what I'm saying? He bought him the whole setup, dog. Even bought him the fog machine and all that Damn. shit. Dog. You know what I'm saying? And how old were y'all at this time? Dude, we're like, like I'm saying, I was like 14, bro. I was like, I was like, I was like 14 years old, bro. And Stump is the same age as you? Yeah, he's like he's okay, like bet. So 14 years yeah. old, his pops buys him a set of turntables, a mixer. Fog machine, lights, and all that shit too. All that shit. He had the whole. Thing. Hey, I, 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 I remember. Damn. I remember when Bobby's dad rolled up, dog. You know what I'm saying? He, he put up in a fucking. He had a trailer, dog, in the back, bro. You know what I'm saying? He put up in the truck, had a trailer in the back, and he told Bobby, man, go ahead and you know what I'm saying. And so fucking, Bobby was he, he called me. He said, hey man, I got my shit, man. Come over, man. This and that, blah 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 blah. He started showing me. Dude, he even uh, his dad even bought him a whole bunch of crates, bro. You know what I'm saying? A whole bunch of crates of fucking things. Damn. God damn. And so uh. Bobby's like, yeah, come, come mess with, come mess with my shit, and this is at the time, yeah, this, this fuck. I got you. <coughs> this is at the time that uh, you know that uh, screw and all that shit is real big. <coughs> Excuse me. This is at the time that you know, like, screw the chop is real big. All they have the switching house running around. You know, freestyle kings, all that other shit, DSR. Okay, so this was probably a little bit right after the right after Screw had passed away when everybody else was doing like yeah, it's when everybody mimicking else, yeah. the Screw the, the Screw. It's movement. when everybody okay. else started doing it. Okay, right? Screw, yeah, it was when everybody else started doing it. it they had like a, the Beltway Eights, the yeah, Freestyle yeah. Kings, Switch House, and every every other DJ that yeah, every, everybody was doing yeah, rap and <laughs> all that shit. Dog, and a you mic, know what I'm hell yeah. And uh, that's what Bobby wanted to do. He was hey man, we're gonna make some Screw the Chop music. We're gonna Damn, make some music. Damn, Damn, that's crazy. I never knew that. Damn. Nah, for real, for real, bro. And so uh, he was like, hey, man, just freestyle on the mic, bro. And I'm like, man, I can't do this shit, though. You know what I'm saying? He's like, man, just, just try it. Just try it. Just try it. So I'm sitting there. I, I, we, we go outside. I smoke some weed, man. And I'm like, man, fuck it, man. So, <laughs> so come back inside, man. I'm like, well, let's do it, dude. Let's do it. So he has a he has a karaoke machine, bro. He has his fucking, he has his turntable plugged into a karaoke machine. You know what I'm saying? So I have the mic of the karaoke, karaoke machine. And so he just, he turns on the beat, though. And I remember the beat. It was that uh, fucking... Uh, Damn, what the hell is that name, dude? It was that Lights Camera Action, dog. Yeah, I remember you were saying that's yeah. on the Mr. Cheeks. Lights Mr. Camera Action, yeah. yeah, Mr. Cheeks, hell yeah. It was that beat, dog. That was the very first beat I rapped on, bro, fucking with him, dude, you know? And I started doing that, you know, that Houston shit. I mean, yeah. just, just, just freestyle, brother. The same way that you hear on that shit, do the same thing. So you hear that, I done came down. I done came, came through all that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And yeah. so, 
And so, but on that karaoke machine, he was able to turn the pitch down. You know what I'm saying? Okay. He was able to do all that shit. So, so after after we recorded it, man, he like after we recorded everything on the on the on the fucking tapes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He he would slow the pitch down, dude. And then okay. he recorded to the he recorded to, to another little, tape or whatever. To, yeah. To fucking make and an to, actual slow yeah, to, make oh, okay, it, to, to make it fucking CDs, bro. Yeah, you yeah. know what Damn. I'm saying? And so, like, yeah, that's how that's how I started doing that shit, man. And fucking, I just it, it actually. He actually started like a fucking group, dog. We we're called ABC, dog. There was like 10, 12 of us, bro. It's called Damn. Amateur Click, dog. You know what I'm saying? Damn. And then like, like yeah, bro. I was just one of the ones that really just fell in love with it, bro. You know what I'm saying? I went, I went farther. Like I just started pursuing it more. Did I, the ABC ever do like a tape like with all y'all, or it was basically just it was it was? Nah, be, it was all of us all the time, dog. It okay, was, so it was y'all would literally be 10, 12 deep at his house. It wasn't like oh, just four or five of us this day, and we so we came yeah, out on this nah, tape, nah, and the next nah, day nah, another group. No, nah, it was really. literally tapes or freestyle sessions where it was literally yeah, it was literally 10, 12 all of y'all. y'all. God damn, damn. We're all, and, and you know what was crazy, man? I remember one time because like, dude, Bobby had a little ass room, dog. That's what I'm you saying, like, and so all of us are standing up, hey, because like. Bobby, because Bobby had the his he he didn't have a box spring bro on, the, on for his bed you yeah. know what I'm saying it was just a bed and just a, like thing so we just flipped it over like that and then everybody's just standing around <laughs> oh, you know shit. what I'm saying yeah and so like so he'll 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 fucking he'll give us the mic and we'll, we'll all be like in a little circle you know what I'm saying like a mic pad yeah we'll just you know what I'm saying whenever yeah. whenever one will fall off we'll just pass Damn. the ball boom, boom, and boom, he's boom, recording boom. this the whole time yeah, he's recording it the whole time Damn. you know what I'm saying and is he like trying to throw like scratches yeah and every, shit yeah and he'll, shit? He'll, okay. throw, he'll throw those scratches and okay, shit like that you know what I'm saying damn. Hell yeah. those Bobby scratches here, those and shit like this. Yeah, dog. Like, hey, dog, it was dope, dog. It was crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, like I said, I was just the one that I was just the one that like just fell in love with it the most, bro. You know what I'm saying? So are you the only one out of them that stuck with it or more? Do you That's know what I'm saying. So how far does how far does it with the Annaville click? What was it called? Yeah, ABC? A- a- ABC, yeah. How far does that go? Man, it was Y'all are pressing up, he's pressing up CDs and y'all are sending them in high school type shit or how far does that go? Nah, I mean, it was, he was just giving them out. Dog. Okay, it was, okay. It was pretty bet. much like promo for him, bro, because at the time, okay, because bet, he's, bet. Trying to, he's trying to build his name up, dog, okay. trying to, you know what I'm saying? And you said he was also doing mixes at this time that were just songs that were like commercial yeah. and shit too. Yeah, so, he was doing, yeah. he was doing his little mixes. Like I said, he was learning, bro. You know what I'm saying? We're all learning, bro. It's, you know, it's the kids, bro. So, but the freeze, like I said before, the uh, t- the CDs that y'all were on were literally all freestyle CDs. Yeah, the just, ones that I did with Bobby, yeah, that was all freestyle just, shit. But bro. I'm talking about like, he, so he would press, uh, he would have the CD and the CD would just be fucking straight, fucking 10, 15 songs of just straight freestyle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. it'll be straight, straight. It'll be, it'll be screwed. It, it wouldn't be chopped up. Yeah, but, but it'll, it'll be, be it'll have yeah. scratches yeah. and shit yeah. like that. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. And that's so tight. fucking uh, yeah, bro. That's how it started, bro. That's that's where that's really where it started from, man. You know what I mean? So from there, how do you uh, how do you what do you do next to like your next step in the rap game after the Bobby Stump thing kind of like starts to dissolve? Well, shit. Uh, I got hit up by this dude named Robert Reeves, man. There was a group called Cease One, bro. How does Robert uh, discover you? Okay, uh, I actually gave him a couple of CDs, man. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like he's been like uh, I've, I've been he's been chopping it up and shit like that, man. And I, I pass him some CDs and shit like that. Hey, man, here's check this out, check this out. And so like he's like. So he hits me up one day. He's like, hey, man, I got a rap group called Cease One Militia, man. He's all, uh, he's all, we're finna go record over here at a, at a, at a studio. He's all, if you want to go record with us, man, he's all, uh, have you on a feature or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so I was like, man, hell yeah, dog, let's do it. You know what I'm saying? And so fuck, I hop on the fucking, I hop on the bus with him that day, bro, to his house. You know what I'm saying? We talk about it over there, this and that. And he's telling me about this dude that he's going to go record with over there called Straight Representatives, dog. It was a dude named Tate. And uh, he was in a group called uh, Straight Representatives, man. They used to fuck around with this other group called Seven Sins over there out of sitting and shit like that. Oh, really? Uh, that, that group Straight Representatives, man, they were out of TAF, dog. They just ended up moving over here to Corpus, dog. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, bo- uh, fucking uh, Bobby, fucking uh, Robert, man, he was, he, was buying, he, was buying, he was buying studio time over there, dude. I think it was like 10, like 10 or 15 bucks a track, dog. You know what I'm saying? And it was just it was a house studio, bro. It wasn't nothing big, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like the studio, like the house studios now, yeah. are a lot better than what the fuck we recorded on yeah, back yeah. then. Because you know, yeah. me, you know what I'm saying? It was a, it was a little it was a little deck, dude. A little four channel deck. You know what I'm saying? He had the he had the mic in the fucking closet and shit. Yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? For back but then, it, but, it was back, some, but back yeah, then yeah, it yeah. was dope, though. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Back then it was dope. So I, I go record over there. I, I go record over there with them. I end up being uh I end up dropping a whole demo with them, dog. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just being on that one song, I end up dropping a whole demo with them, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, I and uh I even fucking around over there, I even did a couple of tracks with that dude, that dude Tate and over there for the straight representatives and shit like that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And so uh we put that we put that fucking uh 
we put that demo out. I mean, not the, yeah, we put that fucking that, that demo out, bro. The cease one militia demo. Yeah, yeah the cease one militia demo, man. And then, dude, we sold like, like we sold like I'm telling you, dude, like roughly like 500 copies, bro. Oh, damn. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like roughly Bad. right there, right there, right there in Cal Island alone. And bro. at this age, you're what about what? Dude, I'm like fucking 15, 16. I'm like 16, dude. Damn, already. You know what I'm saying I'm like 16 years old, bro. And I'm walking around with fucking <laughs> nothing but dollar bills and fucking, <laughs> oh, bills and fucking pockets and shit. You know what I'm damn. saying, dude? It was wild, bro. It was wild, but yeah, we saw we saw like a roughly like five hundred copies of that CD, bro. You know what I'm saying? It was dope, man. And then if I'm mistaken, you had said something about you had been fucking with C Swan Militia for a minute, and then you were over there with them, and Homeboy steps into the was it with him where Homeboy steps into the restroom, and then Homeboy basically tells you like, no, 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 that's for Gabe. Okay, that's okay, what, that's for Gabe. Okay, 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 yeah. okay, bad, bad. Okay, so what happens? How do you go from C Swan to straight represent us? Well. I didn't get now share because I just I just dropped I just dropped a couple of tracks with them. You know okay, what I'm okay. But I, I I linked up with I linked up with them because that you know like I was saying man because uh, y'all were going over there yeah, to fucking going over record. There, yeah. Okay, so bad, I, like bad. I said I laid, I laid a couple of tracks down over there with them dudes over there because that dude Tay he he, he fucked with like, you like he fucked with me bad, bro, bad, you know bad. what I'm saying and so uh, yeah man after that man uh, I buy after after we flipped them CDs right there. Uh, my mom is telling my mom is telling her friends and everything over there where she works at. She's telling her friends, "Hey, my set, my son's selling a CD, boo boo, this and that, this." You know what I'm saying? Well, she ends up running uh, Johnny Moog's uncle was a was a mailman at the time. You oh, know what really? I'm saying? So he's he's delivering mail over there to her work, man. So she, so he's over here in the conversation with her with her homegirl. You know what I'm saying? He's like, "Hey, man, my uh my nephew does my nephew does music." You know what I'm oh, saying? Really? At the time. Johnny Moo was going by Pete by, by Play Baby. That's you know the third coast and you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, hell yeah. And so he's like and so he was, you know, he was laying down, you know, pitching pitching Johnny Moo to her, man, you know what I'm saying? And so my mom got his number. I call him up, man. I get my first beat from Johnny Moo, bro. You know what, what I'm saying? Do you remember what you paid for it? It's 150 bucks, bro. Damn. I remember I paid 150 bucks for that fucking thing. But it came out, but but it, like it was nothing because I came, it came out for that fucking that money. Yeah, that you know what I'm saying? That we hustled up from right there, bro. And so yeah, I paid 150 dollars to Johnny Moog for that beat, bro. So you go and you record with Moog? Yeah, I record. How do y'all end up everything? setting that up and everything? Well, uh, Robert Reeves ends up me- uh, ends up messaging him on that. Uh, I don't know if y'all remember they had this website called uh, TexasUnderground.net. It was a long time. I hear people talk about it yeah. a lot, but I don't really know. Yeah, it was like, that. back in the day, you know, it was like a, one of the message board things. Bro. Okay, yeah, you know one of the message saying? board shits, hell yeah. Uh, that dude Steve, the one that was running Freddie Urban, he was like the one that was behind it. Okay, so it was TexasUnderground.net was based out of Corpus? Yeah, it was based okay, out of here, yeah. Yeah, they, okay. yeah, they would do interviews with the artists over here and everything. Oh, that's shit. How I, that's how I heard about Elite One. That's how I heard about Shy One, bro. Uh, Low-key baller uh, fucking... Flatline, or you know what I'm saying? All that Already. shit. Uh, I learned all that shit off of that, off of that fucking, off of that, off that website, bro. You know what I'm saying? And so, uh, you get the feature from, oh, you say how y'all end up linking with Moog? How y'all, like, no, nah, I already said how I linked up with Moog. No, you say, no, I know, I know, I'm saying, how do y'all, like, the, do you, whenever you go over there to Moog's record, what I'm saying is, like, were you like the move? Move had like a badass studio and shit. And oh fuck yeah, man! Okay, so you, yeah, okay, check this out, bro. That's Moog, what I'm Moog, saying. Moog yeah. Had a spot, dude. <laughs> All right, check this out, dude. Moog had a spot over there on uh, right there on Molina, bro. Right oh, there on really? West Point. Yeah, bro. you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was a badass little spot. It was just a house, dude, for the fucking for a studio, bro. Damn. You know what I'm saying? And so we pull up over there, dog. We fucking we record, dog. Hey, hey, did you know what, dog? Johnny Moog even did the fucking he even did the ad libs, you know, my chorus on that motherfucker, mm, bro. Damn, you know what I'm saying? So he blessed your game. He, ble- he blessed my game for real, damn. dog. He blessed my game for real, for real, bro. You know what I'm saying? And was Johnny Moog Studio like a step up from what y'all? Man, had? Fuck yeah, dog. Because like, <laughs> Johnny Moog had a real booth. Bro. That's what you know I was saying. saying. Yeah, that's what I was yeah, trying to like, say. Yeah, because like he had a he had a real booth. He had a real board, man. He had fucking he. Had, like, he was working, I think it was a Triton at the time, right? He had one of them key people. Yeah, so that's what I mean. Like from whenever y'all get yeah, off yeah. and go inside, like, is it like like okay, this is some different Yeah, no, shit, yeah, bro. this is this is the yeah, we were, I, I thought we made it, bro. Oh, you know what shit, I'm saying? Damn. I mean, like for real. I mean, because like, bro, I'm a kid, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. You go you go up in a place like this, man, and then I'm hearing the type of the type of music that this dude's doing at the time, it's just bad, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, fuck, dude. And I'm 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 seeing this, I'm seeing the environment and everything. I'm like, damn, this is this it's motherfucker really on, bro. Hell, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, this motherfucker's really young, yeah, bro. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, we're hype, dog. You know what I'm saying? We're hype recording that song over there. Sixteen bro. years old. Sixteen Damn. years old, bro. I still got Living that song. Living the life. Bro. Damn, you still got that. I one? still got that song. It's on my computer right now, Damn. bro. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Hell yeah, dog. Yeah, so from the Jolly Boog shit, though, you and that's when you end up linking with Gabe, or was you already yeah, fucking, fucking with Gabe uh, before that one? After after the Johnny Moog shit, man. 
uh, that dude Robert Revis is 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 looking around on that message board, bro. You know what I'm saying? And he ends up running into Gabe Salinas, which is held by Productions. He ends up running into him. And so he's like, he's like, hey man. So he he goes over there, he buys a couple beats from him. He comes back, he he comes to my crib, man. His mom drops him off at my crib, dog. We fucking we write, you know what I'm saying? And he's like, hey, we'll go we'll go lay it down next weekend or whatever, blah blah blah, this and that. So. So he just went over there just to get the beats. He didn't go over there to record or nothing. He just went over there to buy some beats and then yeah, come. Yeah, because he met him. He met him on the underground. Yeah, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay, bet. And so he just went over there to go buy some beats and shit like so that. So y'all were gonna go over there and record so, yeah, later on already. And so. Right, so I, I write my shit to them beats, this and that, man. We go over there, I think it's that, like, later on that weekend, you know what I'm saying? We go to we go to Gabe's house, man. And Gabe, Gabe didn't really, he didn't have no shit like Johnny Moo did, you know what I'm saying? It was, a, it was, it was kind of the same thing, dog. It was like, like kind of like Tate had, but it was an upgrade, you know what I'm saying? From what Tate had. Yeah, because Gabe had, Gabe had them boards, I don't, like, he had a 505, dog. I don't know if you even know what the fuck that is, dog. Like almost a beat, a beat machine? A beat machine. Okay, there bad, bad. a fucking 505. He had a bunch of little things, like that. He had one of them. He had an AK. He had a, he had one of the Makai fucking sound. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. He had a, yeah, he had a whole yeah. bunch of shit, dog. Like, but it was at the house. You know what I'm Already. saying? Already. And his, and his mic was in the fucking closet, too. You know what I'm saying? Already. So, like. So, anyway, man, we go record over there. I, I lay my shit down. I come, I come out, I come out the little closet thing, man, and fucking, uh. My boy, my boy Robert goes in there. So whenever he starts rapping and shit like that, Gabe's like, "Hey, uh," he's like, "Hey, he's all, I'm gonna give you a couple beats, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Come lay some shit down for me, man. Or this and that, blah blah blah. You know." I was like, "Man, for real?" And he's like, "Yeah, dog." This is like, the first time you he, Robert, this is the, yeah, Robert took you over there. First time, dude. This is a very, very <laughs> first fucking day, bro. Very first day, dude. I don't like. I said this is the very first time I ever met this dude. Got hooked up. Yeah, got hooked up. And so he's like, hey, yeah, he's a uh, man. He's, I'll throw you a couple beats right now, man. You know what I'm saying? He's uh, uh he's, we'll fucking, we'll get together, man. We're, I like the way you rap, dog. You know what I'm saying? I was like, hey, man, I appreciate that, man. You know what I'm saying? So fucking, uh, so anyway, man, I fucking, I, I end up fucking, that's how I get down with Hellbound, bro. You know what I'm saying? Well, they so, say y'all were uh, leaving, uh, y'all were leaving on the fucking bus back to go back home. And then you basically told Homeboy that Homeboy had gave yeah, you a CD. Yeah, 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 yeah. I told him, I was like, hey, man, this fool gave me a CD or some beats, man. And he was like, what, for real? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, man. He wants me. To, he wants me to. He wants me to go lay some songs down, man. And he's like, for real, bro. Like he's like, and I'm like, yeah, dog. He kind of like, kind of want to pick me up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like, and so my, hey, my nigga Robert got fucked up about that shit, though. Yeah, he was all salty and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He really got fucked up about that shit. Though, yeah. You know what I'm saying? He started kind of placing women behind it and everything oh, like man. that, bro. You know what I mean? But I was like, man, whatever, dog. You know what I mean? Fuck all that bullshit. So then the next time you end up catching the bus to fucking yeah, games, yeah, I just, I just, yeah, because I, I get Gabe's number and everything. Dog. Oh, you know shit. what I'm saying? So he, I fucking tell him, I'm like, hey, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm done with these songs. You know what I'm saying? He's a bet. He's a come through. So I fucking, I. I I used to hop on the B bus to his house, bro. You know what I'm saying? I used to ride the B bus every fucking day to his house, bro, for like two, like like a good two years, bro. Recording with the dude, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? He was living over there off of fucking uh, off of Tawanka Road right there, South South Bluff Apartments, dog. Damn. You know what I'm saying? They tore the motherfuckers down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you talking about? You know, you don't talk about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He used to live over there, bro. I used to go, like I said, I used to go over there every day. After after since the day that I met him, after that, bro. When I went to go record, I was going over there every day after school. Damn, you were in the, the trenches to fucking yeah. try to fucking make some rap shit fucking yeah, happen. Yeah, yeah. well, I mean, I just, I just loved it, bro. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just loved it. And then on top of that, though, too, I'm, I'm, I'm getting free beats, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's like, yeah. I'm like, I'm like, damn, I'm supposed to be doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? So like, yeah. so with Hellbound, did y'all end up like completing anything? Did there with anything like uh, drops or anything like that? Nah, 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 man. Most of the most of the shit that I was doing over there, man, it was just get, it was just like kind of like going to boot camp, dog. Who was yeah. all over there at Hellbound at the time? Whenever you got at down the with them, at the time when I was over there, there was a dude named Buddha Berkowitz. He was over there. There was another dude named uh, fuck, uh, G Gangspitter. He was over there. Oh really? Whenever I went there, there's another dude named Jane, uh, another dude named Dangerous Toy. He was over there. And uh, but Gabe was fucking with a whole lot of other people though, man. Through Gabe, that's whenever I I met I met Shy One one time one time with him. Uh, I met uh that dude Sir Tones. Oh really? Shout out Sir Tones. Shout, shout out Sir Tones. You know what I'm saying? I met him over there. You know what I'm saying? And and like 
I thought fucking around with Gabe nigga was just some le- like just like some next level shit because everybody over there dog was yeah like, hell yeah was like bad dog you know the what camaraderie I'm saying? My, yeah my everybody was cool everybody was cool with each other man everybody's chilling dog it was on some creative type yeah, shit and, and yeah. then on top of that though too man everybody was very like they were friendly com- they were they were friendly competitive you know what I'm yeah, saying like yeah. it was like yeah nigga. Do better next time, type shit. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, hell yeah. And it was dope, man. It was dope, man. It was it was a good, it was a good, like it was a good camp, though. I'm not gonna lie, man. Shout out Sir Tones, man. I never forgot about that shit, bro. Oh, you know what I'm really? saying? So how do you how do you end up uh meeting Caesar and linking up with Caesar and shit? Uh Caesar and Life, dog, they were they were actually in a group called Third Coast, bro. And uh they started buying beats from Gabe. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And so me being over there with Gabe, you know what I'm saying? Naturally, I'm going to end up running into these niggas. You know what I'm saying? And so... Uh, so while you're over so there with Gabe, you're just seeing like a whole bunch of different people that are outside social coming yeah. through already, already. Yeah, because like, I'm, like, I'm like, it's my homeboy. You already, know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm there You're seeing people come day. spend money yeah, with them and shit like money, that. Hell yeah, yeah. I'm seeing people already. spend money, dog, and shit, all that shit, dog. I'm just, I'm watching everything go down. You know what I'm saying? And so fucking... uh. So like I said, man. So fucking the Caesar in life, man. They would they would go buy beats from that nigga, man. So uh, Gabe made a beat with fucking you know they had C- had Caesar on the sample, bro. I was like, hey, give me that beat. So he's a like, here. I go later. I go later. I go lay some shit down to it, man. He shows it to Caesar. Caesar's like, hey, let me jump on a verse of that bitch. You know what I'm saying? And so he gets up on a verse, bro. We laid a song called "Down Victim to Slugs," bro. You know what I'm saying? It's like, to us, it's a hit, though. We're like, oh, this is badass. This is fucking phenomenal, dude. You know oh, what I'm really? saying? And so whenever, uh, so me and Caesar end up linking up, man, and he's like, hey, man, I got a studio at my crib, dog. You know what I'm saying? And so I when I, I went over there, started fucking with Caesar. You know what I'm saying? And so, like, me and Caesar started making, like, a little group. You know what I'm saying? We started doing our own little thing. I, it kind of it kind of just gravitated from, from Gabe to fucking with this dude. Oh, excuse really? me. You know what I'm saying? To fuck it with this dude over here, dog, and I, it really like, it really set my shit up, dog. You know what I'm saying? Fucking with him, dog, on some real shit, dog. So how do y'all uh, end up fucking going to fucking L.A. and shit, Hollywood? Well, and shit fucking like that? Uh, Caesar, uh, he is enrolled in like some school, music he, academy uh, or something like that. He he uh, he got enrolled into a musicians institute over there in Hollywood. Dog. Oh shit! You know what I'm saying? And so fucking, uh, he's like, hey, man, I, I need a project, dog. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm like, yeah, man, fuck it, dog. We can go do that. You know what I'm saying? I was like, man, yeah, we can do that. I'm, I'm down. Let's do it. You Hell know what yeah. And so fucking, uh, there we go, dog. We end up going over there, bro. You know what I'm saying? Fucking one of his teachers, bro, was a Daryl Swan, bro. Fucking Macy Grace producer. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Like on some real shit, yeah. It was it was badass over there, dog. Were y'all trying to make something shake over there with like the rap shit or anything? Well, yeah, I yeah, not really. Like I don't know, dog. It was kind of like it was kind of in between, dog. It was more. We were more over there for Caesar shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For him, like just so so he can learn how to do his shit, dog. You know what I'm saying? And so fucking uh. Or at that point, you felt like y'all weren't polished enough to be really trying to chase some shit. No, I, nigga, I, I feel like I was polished since day one. Oh, you know really? what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like, the Bobby Stump mixtapes. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like I was polished since day one, bro. Oh, you know really? what I'm saying? But like, nah, man, it was like I said. The the, the thing was, the word is, it was more concentrating on fucking Caesar shit over there. Oh, bro, really? You know what I'm saying? And plus, on top of that, man, like he he couldn't really he couldn't really get into the game over there like that because it was like it was weird, bro. Like. You had to go through that process of going through that of going through that school. Like if you were going through that school, man, they had they had they held you to a certain st- like it was. Oh, really, okay, okay, you know okay, what I'm okay, saying? okay. I see. They I held see. you to a certain standards and shit over there like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? They wanted to check you out and all this other shit. You know so you couldn't be on social media thugging it, calling yourself a rapper, basically trying to go to this school to. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I it see. was nothing like that, bro. It was nothing like that. They they didn't want no bullshit over there like that, man. You know what I'm saying? Hell and yeah. And so like yeah, though like. We weren't really trying to pursue it over there like that, man. But I did. We ended up do. We ended up do. We ended up doing a show over there, man, or with uh, Funk Dubious, bro, right there in the Knitting Factory, man. Funk Dubious. Uh, for for people who don't know who Funk Dubious is, man, that's Cypress Hills DJ. Oh, really? You know what I'm saying? We ended up doing a show over there with him, dog. Fucking, we did a hype, dog. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna lie, man. It wasn't. It wasn't one of my best shows. You know what I'm saying? It was like, it was a hype, dog. We did. Th- we did our thing, though. Really, on, really, in honesty, man. 
but yeah, that's like the only that's like the only real show that we did over there, bro. Was that one right there? No, oh, really. So then y'all end up coming back to uh, to Corpus. Yeah, we end up coming back over here to Corpus, man. Now when y'all do like the Freddy yeah, records, should, yeah, around right whenever we come back to Corpus, uh, uh, Freddy records is already doing that uh, that block to the bullshit already. You know what I'm saying? They already did, they already went through season one, dog. It was, that was the season one. I think it had Paper Chase. It had Merc Rock in there. Uh, I think it was Michael White. You know what I'm saying? It had a cut. Like yeah, they had a bunch. They had a they had a bunch of people, though. You know what I'm saying? And uh, whenever we came back, they, they were starting up the season two. You know what I'm saying? And life was telling Caesar, like, hey man, this is what this is what we got going on over here. Boom, boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? And so uh, life. Life pulls us in, you know what I'm saying? He's I'm a holla, I'm a holla at Steve for y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? At that time, are Life and Caesar still like a group? Were they still with the third crow shit? Or nah, they, nah, okay. they, they, they were, were just, kind of deteriorated. But they were still like fucking but with each other. Still, okay, they, 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 they were still they were still cool with each other. Already. You know what I'm saying? They were still homeboys already. and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And so fucking Life was like, hey, I'm doing this shit over here. He's like, I'm gonna go ahead and so I'm gonna go ahead and put my work my jet and get y'all in there. You know what I'm saying? Well, life comes through on that bitch. You know what I'm saying? It really comes through, and so. uh we ended up being on season two over there with over there with Freddie Urban, dog. You know what I'm saying? And uh yeah, we uh, we go through the whole we go through the whole contest, bro. Over there, bro. We go through the whole contest, uh uh the ones that the ones that ended up lasting the whole time was all three of us, live, Caesar and me, dog. You know God what I'm saying? Damn. damn. But they didn't hold up to their end of the bargain. Nah, as they didn't hold the nah, deal, they didn't the hold up. company. They didn't hold up their end of the end of the bargain with us at all, dog. You know what I'm saying? At all. You they uh, speak they, on they, it. They, speak they, on this shit. shit. Nigga, fuck it, man. I mean, really, man. And honestly, man, they didn't really like my ass over there. I'm not gonna lie, dog, because I was a hoodlum dog at the time. You know what I'm saying? I was, I was fucking, I was selling dope out the fucking uh, out the goddamn studio I, over there. The yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I had dope fiends pulling up to fucking Freddie Urban. Nigga, I'm serving them right there yeah, while damn. I'm recording, bro. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, like. You know, like, them niggas are looking at me like, man, you fucking tripping, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, damn. But at, at the time, I didn't give a fuck, dog. You know what I mean? See, so I made it all the so, way into the block of the booth shit, and basically nothing came of it. Yeah, nothing came of it, bro. Nothing really came of it, man. You know what I'm saying? After it was A short time after that, man, that shit started deteriorating, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they, you know, they fucking, they lost their funding from a... Uh, from Freddie, from the from the Freddie people, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. There ain't nothing coming. There ain't no investment coming back from this shit, though. So fucking, they shut that shit down. Yeah, yeah. Damn. You know what I'm saying? And they, that's because they, they had a bad they had a bad dude. That album that J Cass did over there, dude, is a fucking classic, bro. That is a classic fucking album. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. What's bro. the name of that one? Oh, damn. My resume. My resume. I remember seeing, I remember seeing the hard copies of that bitch floating around yeah. Corpus back in the day and shit. My resume, dude. The one, yeah, dude. Gay Parker did the whole. He did the whole. He did all the production over there. You know what I'm saying, dude? Yeah, that was a badass album. Did dog. they do that? Him and Merc Rock CD over there too. J Cass and Merc Rock had a collab CD. I think, yeah, uh, they had a collab. Is this CD. like uh, what was it called? Gutter, Gutter Boys or Gutter Boys or something like that? Uh, I don't want to get it wrong. I'm not too sure. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not too sure. God damn. But yeah, they yeah. Uh, I don't think they did. I don't think they did that one over there because I think Merc. I think he was fucking with Merc way before that shit. Okay. From my understanding. So after the block to the booth shit kind of fades out, are you kind of like, like not to say done with the rap, but are you kind of like discouraged with the rap shit at that man, time? Hell yeah, I'm discouraged with the rap shit. Dog, it's like it's it's crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, I like. I feel like I'm running around in circles, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. At that time, and I'm like, what the fuck am I supposed to, you know what I'm saying? Then you end up leaking up with fucking. I end up leaking up with Dax, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this is during the MySpace days, man. Fucking Dax friended me on the on, on MySpace, bro. So I didn't know he was a promoter. I started looking at his shit. You know what I'm saying? And so fucking, uh, I'm like, oh shit, this nigga promotes. So we said, we, we chop it up, this and that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, at the time, Jay Crook. Cause that that's fucking with G Flow, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And uh, G and you know like G Flow is uh, Jay Crook's older brother. Well, Jay Jay Crook's recording over there at my homeboy Caesar's house at the time, you know what I'm saying? And so uh, Jay Crook, we uh, me and Jay Crook end up playing a song down called uh, "Where You At," you know what I'm saying? I just shot you the video today. Mm. We end up playing down that song, you know what I'm saying? That "Where You At" song, and. Uh, Fucking Jay Crook is showing, he's showing everybody. He's like, hey, man, check this out, check this, check this song out, Ooh, this and that. So he shows Dax. He's like, hey, man, yeah. What year is this? Like, 06? This is 
Oh five, oh six, oh seven. Oh shit! Okay, bet, bet, bet. Like oh seven, yeah. Damn, yeah, so he's all showing everybody the song. Yeah, shit. he's showing everybody. It's like oh seven, oh eight, or some shit like that. Oh really? He's showing he yeah, he's showing everybody the song. He's going around this and that. So Dax fucking was like, so so he tells so so Dax gets him on the show, bro. You know what I'm saying? And so he's like, yeah, I'm gonna bring these niggas over here. So Dax like, yeah, bring them. Oh really? You know what I'm yeah, yeah. So fucking uh, I do my first show with Dax over there, bro. And after I do my first show with him, dog, he ends up becoming my like my, my promoter. You know what I'm saying? He's taking us all over the place. He's taking us to the Valley, bro. He's taking us to Houston, bro. He's taking us to San Antonio and shit like that at the time, Damn. bro. You know what I'm saying? And it was a group of us, man, because like one of the the people that were fucking with uh, Dax at the time, it was G Flow, uh, J Feria was over there. Fucking uh, that's whenever uh, Andy was pushing a uh, Drippy Drew, but uh, that's when he was pushing him as Baby Boy. Oh, really? Because he was small. You know, he was small. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, damn. There's there's a couple. All paper chase was over there too. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, dog. I'm, there was a, there was a good little squad over there. That I was going, man. I remember we used to hop up in uh, hop up in Dax's uh, suburban, bro. Oh, you know, shit. He had one of the big ass suburbs. Yeah. All of us will hop up in that motherfucker, yeah, man. Yeah, take oh, that's what's Ooh, up. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, niggas don't even fuck around like Hell that, though. Yeah. No, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Nah, what's they up. don't, dog. They don't, man. God you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I remember that shit, dog. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, we, we hopped to this bourbon, man, and fuck it. We'll take off. We'll hit a city, man, come back. You know what I'm saying? Same night, dog, type shit, bro. Uh, yeah, hell yeah. So after that, is that when y'all end up linking with Bomberman? Is he discovered yeah, shit? Yeah, Bomberman. Uh, some shit? We end up, we, uh, Dax throws a, throws a show for Juan Gotti, man, which ends up being his, I think it's like his, his birthday party or a CD release party or some shit like that. Already. And so we end up, uh, he's like, I'm going to get y'all to open up for him. So we open up for him, bro, and that dude Bomberman's there, dog. And so after we, after me and Caesar get off the stage, he's like, "Hey man, uh, he comes up to us, man, and he's like, "Hey man, I want to go ahead and sign up to some to a deal, this and that, blah 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 blah." I was like, "What for real?" And he's like, "Yeah, he's like, I'm gonna he's like, I'm gonna fund all the money through y'all, man. Y'all don't gotta worry about shit. You know what I'm saying?" Damn. Um, and y'all ain't even TMP like, right this time. Y'all are just drooping. No, it's just me. It's just me and Caesar. It's just me. It's drooping. S O G. S O G. You know what I'm saying? That's that's it's just me and him, dog. You know what I'm saying? So how does it? When, how do y'all how do y'all react whenever Bomberman tells y'all that? Are y'all thinking this is just some nigga that's talking out of his ass? Like yeah, I thought he was talking out of his ass, man. I, I, cause he was like, yeah, I, I want to do this. This and I was like, all right, cool, cool. Uh, give me your number, dog. So fucking, he ends up fucking. I get his number and everything like that, dude. And then fucking, I just forget about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, I it goes on like two weeks, bro. He's calling, dude. He's calling Dax and he's calling everybody, bro. He's like, hey, man, where the fuck is this nigga at? <laughs> trying to look for me. You know what I'm saying? And fucking uh, G Flow ends up calling my phone. He's like, "Hey man, you got somebody over here trying to stalk you, man. You know what I'm saying? He's like, looking for you right now, Damn. man." And so I'm like, "What?" I was like, "Who, man?" He's like, "That dude, bomber man." I was like, "Oh, I was like, yeah, I got his number, man." He's like, "Man, give that." He's like, "Call him, bro. Dog. Call him up, man." So I I call him up, man. That dude offer he offers me and Caesar man a deal for a mixtape and a, and an album, bro. Damn. You, you know what I'm saying? God damn. And so. That yeah, hell yeah. Dog. And Bear was Bomberman based out of it. This time yeah. he was based out of Corpus? Nah, he was based out of Mathis, bro. So y'all mm. were in Mathis or y'all were just, like, how was how was that going to work? Y'all were going to record over there? Y'all were here? No, we, nah, we, he, uh, we, he was we were record over here with Caesar. Okay, so yeah. basically he would just come, oh, okay, okay. You know so basically y'all were just recording, just basically going to turn the project into Yeah, just turn it into him. Okay, you know bet, bet. Hell yeah, I see now. It's an easy investment, though, you know what I'm saying? He hell yeah. To, he wasn't going to have to pay for all the studio yeah, time and all that shit. You don't have to pay for none of that shit, though. We got all that, you know what I'm saying? So fucking, uh, and so fuck yeah, that's how that's how I did. He fucking he, he dude. Whenever we 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 dropped the we dropped the kick door mixtape, dog. I gave you a couple copies of that shit. Yeah, hell yeah. We dropped the kick door mixtape, bro. So was the kick door mixtape? Was that did y'all already have that finished before he he signed y'all, or that was like did y'all have and half of half, it done? We're half by halfway done. No, really. You know so y'all just had to add some more songs. And yeah, then we had to add some more songs. Mixtape was ready to go. The yeah. mixtape portion of this contract is it's done. Yeah, <laughs> it's done. Yeah. Hell yeah. So then y'all dropped the mixtape. Y'all throw the release party. Let's talk about the release party that y'all yeah. had, man. We fucking we dropped the mixtape, man. We had the release party over there at the Arizona Vit Center, bro. You know what yeah. I'm saying? We fucking dude, we had we had a we had a fucking we had a car club out there, bro. We had food. You know what I'm saying? We had fucking uh, that dude, GT Garza, bro. Right before he got big, dude. He was a kid, dude. Y'all remember this? He Damn. Was a kid. He was over there at our CD release party, bro. Damn. You know what I'm saying? He was with some uh, he was with, he was with some older dude and some older lady, man. I remember that shit. Damn. They came down from Houston, dog. Uh, we also had a we also had a group from Houston called the Fam, dog. They came down, dog. They fucking they they did some shit, dog. Like yeah, dog. Hey, it was dope, dog. We had a we had a we had a nice little, we had a nice little fucking, little, little, nice little CD release party, man. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was nice, man. I loved it, bro. 
Hell yeah. So then you catch a case and shit. Yeah, I ended up going to prison for fucking 10 years, bro. And what was uh, it the police I saw you? Like we say, are you, we got to talk about it before. The police seeing you on a flyer and shit or some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, uh, whenever, I, whenever I went on the run and shit like that, man, uh, whenever they went to go kick the door in my house, I had all my flyers on the on the wall, bro, the same way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The same way, bro. Like all the flyers that I was, you know, all the, all the shows that I was a part of and shit so like that. So you were that. proud of the shows yeah, that you I was, I was proud of all my shit, dog. So whenever they kicked door me, bro, they, they, they couldn't find nothing. So they, they're looking at the show, so... They fucking start. They, they, so they put off all the fucking the, the, the numbers that I had on that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They put off all the numbers. Start yeah. looking for my ass, bro. You know what I'm got, Damn. They got my Damn. ass, bro. They got my ass quick, dog. But I was over in Houston whenever they uh, they after they after they did that, man. They kicked door Dax, bro. Like the next day, bro. You know what I'm saying? Damn. They kicked door Dax, bro. It was fucked up, bro. You know what I'm saying? And he says Dax Dax end up calling you. Too. Yeah, he tells me he's like, hey, bro, you gotta turn yourself in, bro. He's other like, over here fucking shit up. God damn. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, all right, man, fuck it. So I, I turned myself in over there in uh over there in Brazoria County, bro. Brazoria? Yeah. God damn. I, remember, uh, I turned myself in Brazoria County. Uh Nueces County comes and picks me up. They fucking uh I get I get ten years, bro. You know what I'm saying? But I go down for like I go down for like fucking like seven felonies, bro. God yeah. damn. You know what I'm saying? God I go down damn. for like seven felonies, bro. Yeah, I was like, like I said, I was wilding, bro. I was tripping. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't, I wasn't thinking right, bro. Now, so you do the 10 up in that motherfucker. You rolling solo the whole time you up in that bitch? You running any motherfucking beats or anything, shit like that? Yeah, of course. God, <laughs> you know damn. what I'm saying? Of course. I was prison, bro. That's just as soon as you step <laughs> off the fucking booth type, yeah, bus type shit. Just, but nah, yeah. but like, dude, I'm going to be honest with you, man. People people make prison out, dude. Like, it's like this. The jungle and shit when it really it's, ain't bro, like. Look, bro, it's like this, bro. It's, it's what just you the make way of you. It, what it's you what say? you. Yes, it's what you make of it, bro. Yeah. If you go in, like, if you go in there, bro, trying to fucking, trying to run phase, and you go in there trying to fucking talk some shit and do this, this, and that, you can, you're gonna find that, bro. You know what I'm saying? But if you go in there trying to kick back and trying to just do your own, yeah, thing, do your time and shit like that. Hell you're gonna yeah. find people hell that yeah. do the same exactly. shit too. Hell you know what I'm yeah, saying? Hell Not yeah. everybody's a knucklehead, bro. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And so like, yeah, I don't. You know, I would always say too, whenever I was locked up in fucking. Doing time and fucking safe pee and all that bullshit. You run into motherfuckers that's fucking 19, you're 17, 18, and the motherfuckers is literally, you would think they'd be on some knucklehead shit. And don't get me wrong, you're gonna run into some that age that is some knuckleheads and shit, but you run into a lot of them, man. That's, that shit. motherfucker got kids and shit already, yeah. and they ready to get out so they can get, get to their kids. They're talking about 17, 18 years old. Man, they're got talking a fucking about two year old and shit. Like, yeah. goddamn, they're nigga. talking about parole, bro. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? They're talking about, they're like, man, I'm, I'm talking about these visits and this yeah, parole yeah, and all yeah. this other shit. Yeah, because you ain't trying to fuck up none of that shit. You ain't trying to fuck up none of that shit, dog. You know what I'm saying? For sure. So, yeah, I end up, I end up going to, I end up going to the fucking to some big units, you know, the maximum security units, bro. You know what I'm saying? The fucking, uh, dude, they have people like, you know, they're 23 years old, got life sentences and Hell shit like yeah. that. Oh, and then, like man. I said, even on top of that, though, them niggas are chilling. You Hell know what I'm saying? Yeah. Them niggas are chilling. Like the only thing, the only thing that we were really doing there, bro, is a smoke and drink, bro. Smoke, drink, and workout. That's that's mainly about it. Oh, really? Hell yeah. God damn. So then you get out after what, like, would you say nine and a half? What you I get doing out. I get out of nine and a half, bro. You know what I'm saying. And then you fucking don't have an address to parole to, so you get sent to. I get sent to a halfway house, man. Damn. Over there in Dallas. But it was, it was a halfway house and a three quarters house. It was a three quarter house actually, man. But you say they had a halfway house in the front and the three quarters. Yeah, in they the had back? a halfway house in the front and they had a three quarter house in the back. Oh, really? Because you know I'm pretty sure the halfway house had way more stricter rules. Yeah, than they that. couldn't come. They couldn't come out like after nine o'clock yeah, or some hell shit yeah, like that. Hell you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Uh, yeah, they, they had they had certain different rules and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? But I only had like six months of paper left, dog, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And plus, like, whenever I, whenever I went to go see my, my PO, man, he was looking at me, bro. He was like, man, bro, he's like, if you fuck up, I'm going to lock you back up. And I'm like, dude, I got six months left on my fucking pre- I got six months left on my charge, bro. You could have just left my ass in there. God you damn. know what I'm saying? And he's like, all right, man, let's go. You know what I'm saying? He's like, fuck <laughs> it. He's like, man, look, just don't, he's all, don't cause no trouble, man, while you're on. I was like, all right, man, I'm, I'm good like that, you know what I'm saying? So you and paroled so to the three quarter house. I paroled the three quarter house over there, man. And then I start. Where I, was that over there? In South Dallas? No, nah, it was over the East Dallas. East man. Dallas, right okay, there on, bad, right there bad. on Columbia Street, man. Okay, you know what I'm saying? right there, East, right there in the hood, bro. I'm talking like right, right in the middle of the hood, bro. Like the three quarter house is like okay, the, the halfway house is in the front, three quarter house is in the back, right here, and right here on the side, man. It's like bum alley, bro. They got all these bums, you know what I'm saying? Damn. Right God, here, they, get, they're all, they got their beds and all that shit laid out right there and shit like that. Tents and like, it's crazy, bro. God it's damn. It's crazy. So then when you're in the three-quarters house, you're trying to fucking figure out what's going on with the music scene over there? 
Yeah, no, I was trying to. Uh, I started. How uh, did you meet somebody? Was somebody in the halfway house like involved with it, or you? Was just, nah, you nah, nah. That was me. Shit. That was me looking on the on fucking Facebook and shit like that. I started looking around the music. I started looking around the music scene and everything like that. You know, the music scene, music has been a part of my life forever, dog. You oh, know what really? I'm saying? So when I get out, I'm like, I'm gonna see what's going on over here, man. No, oh, really. You know what I'm saying? So I started looking around, man. I I run into this dude named Leo the Lion, bro. You know what I'm saying? He's doing, and he's a promoter over there. He's doing shows all over the place over there, bro. You know what I'm saying? You meet him on Facebook and shit? Yeah, I meet him on Facebook. Oh, you know really? what I'm saying? And uh, I hit him up one time, and I'm like, hey, bro, what's up with the show? He's like, man, come through. I got you. You know what I'm saying? I was like, my friend. He's like, I got you. He's like, whatever, dog, come through. And so uh, I do my first show when I do my first show out of prison, bro. Over there, it's called, a, the, uh, it's called the, Al, uh, the Albie Hookah Lounge, bro. So yeah. still fresh out of prison, living in the three quarters house on a fucking stage. <laughs> God damn. damn! Come on, man! Come on, man! That's dedication, nigga. Come on, man! You know what I'm saying? That's dedication right there, dog. God damn! On man. a three quarter house on a stage, bro. That might be a Guinness fucking world record on or some stage, shit bro. like that. <laughs> on a motherfucking stage over At there. At least a Guinness Texas record, shit. That's crazy. This shit's wild, bro. Yeah. God damn, man. So then the Leo Lalon dude, is he the same? He has a podcast too, or he introduces you to people? Nah, he's have- uh, uh for, for, for with him, I, I get introduced to the scene over there. You know what I'm saying? So I I, I meet uh I meet my homeboy Big Boy over there, Mr. Big Boy. Shout out Mr. Big Boy. You know what I'm saying? Shout out uh, Big Boss Entertainment over there, those are my people. You know what I'm saying? We whenever we whenever we go whenever we go on town, yeah, these people are always there. They're, okay, they're, they're always there too, dog. Bet, you know what I'm saying? Bet. They're like a, they're like our road buddies, bro. You know what I'm saying? So fucking uh yeah, I, I run into him, bro. Him and Big, Mr. Big Boy and this dude named Knowledge, man. They have a podcast, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's called like Southern Hospitality or something like and that. And they say they had a podcast in the studio in the same fucking suite, basically, huh? And yeah. And that suite was inside of the building that was. Yeah, uh, they had they had a uh, they had the they had the office space right there is right there on two eleven Irve, man. It's the building where they fucking where the where the where the cheaters people are at. You know what I'm saying? They're at the very top. The dog. house you know is the, che- the cheaters' headquarters. The cheaters' headquarters at the top, dog. We're we're, we're, uh, yeah. <laughs> we're right there on we're right there on the third floor, dog. They're like for real, dog. I'm being serious. The cheaters was like on the 21st floor or some shit like that. And you say you would see fucking the I cheaters. See, yeah, fucking I see that food. Joey Joey Greco come downstairs all the time. The show. The show, yes. What nigga. the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm dead yeah. serious, bro. I'm dead serious, hey dude. Because whenever I go outside, because I would record over there, dog. Because they had their studio there. They, they had their studio and, and that's where they hold the podcast at. You know what I'm saying? In the same building. It's the, the fucking building, cheaters' yeah. headquarters. Yeah. Goddamn. And so fucking uh, so whenever I will, so whenever we go downstairs to go smoke, you know them dudes like them dudes they smoke cigarettes and shit like that. So they'll go down there and go, go smoke too. You know what I'm saying? And so fucking being up running into these motherfuckers all the time, dog. I actually got a picture with Joey Greco. I gotta find it, bro. Yeah. That you took outside. The- I took outside of the building with them, dog. God damn, that's crazy. Tight. For real, it's fucking crazy shit, dog. God damn. So then, while living at the three quarters house, you also meet uh, some married lady, huh? We're talking, <laughs> but we don't. We ain't got to dig. We, you got to go <laughs> yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. Go back and watch episode number fucking two of Let's Chop It yeah, Up, I, and I, he I re- tells like the whole story. We'll just tap into it a little bit right here, and then we'll yeah, keep yeah. it going. But basically, so how do you meet the lady? I, and yeah. Shit? Uh, my, yeah, I'm telling me how, how your homeboy basically <laughs> tells us up. Yeah. All right, man, check this out, man. So you're my in the three quarters yeah. house. Have you done I the show yet at this point? No, 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 Yeah, we pull pull it back a little. Okay, bit, bit. So I get to the three quarters house, right? I'm there. I'm there like about a month, bro. You know what I'm saying? I I gotta go to I gotta go to some NA meeting. You know what I'm saying? So I go over there. I run to my boy Corey Holt, and he's asking me, "Hey, man, you got any pussy yet, dog?" You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, "Nah." So. Like I said, I've been locked up a long time, dog. So I don't know nothing about no apps. Yeah, hell yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? He's like, hey, he's a like, jump on Tinder, bro. He's like, what the fuck is Tinder? He's a like, jump on Tinder. He's like, man, what the fuck? I'm like, what the fuck is Tinder, bro? You know what I'm saying? He's like, dude, jump on it, bro. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I jump on it, made my little profile on that bitch and everything like that, man. I ended up running into this chick named Rachel, man. You know what I'm saying? Rachel's a married woman, dog. She fucking works at this place called. She, I can't, I'm not put out, but, but I had a big company. Bro, already, you know already, what I'm saying? She already. fucking, she works. <laughs> Like dude, she's she's she got bread. Dog. She got like four cars. She got two houses, bro. You know what I'm Damn. saying? Damn. Her husband, her husband was over there in the military, dude. You know what I'm saying? The the hey, dude, the 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 day that I met her, dude, was the day that her husband burned the fuck out. The day bro. that he deployed. The day that he deployed <laughs> out, bro. The God damn. Her, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's cold. <laughs> nah, it is cold. Dog. God damn. <laughs> God yeah. Damn. Well, anyway, man. Yeah, dog, I ain't I ain't a fucking. We're looking with her. for trouble. Yeah. All. Yeah, dog. 
Yeah. So sure. basically, yeah, you end up yeah. fucking with her, then you end up moving in with yeah, her. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't a fucking while. with her, man. I ain't a moving in with her, man. You know what I'm saying? Her husband finds out about it, bro. He starts tripping. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he comes, he comes back from deployment, bro. He he ain't got nowhere to go, and she's she's not kicking me out. I'm not moving. I'm not going out. You know what I'm saying? So he ends up. He ends up sleeping on the fucking living room. Tell about the story how you knocked, how he, how he got home and he knocked on the <laughs> okay, door. Like, Tell that one real quick. How you answered the door. <laughs> hey, bro. The like, way you look and what you had and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Details. Yeah, man. Damn, bro. Okay, bro. You want to go with this shit. Hurry up. But, hey, this, this, dude, this dude comes home, right? Comes home from deployment. He's coming home from deployment, bro. You know what I'm saying? So uh, he's knocking on the door, man. I answered the door. I'm in a white beater. I'm in some shorts, bro. You know what I'm saying? I got a blunt in my ear. Now that's coming from smoking in the garage. You know what I'm God saying? Damn. It's my house. <laughs> and so I open the door, bro. And so he looks at me, bro. He's like, he's like, you're Donovan, right? And so I look at him <laughs> and I'm like, you're Bill, right? And he's like, yeah, man. He's like, is, uh, is Rachel here? And I was like, yeah, hold up. Damn. <laughs> hold up. Oh. <laughs> Uh, so I'm like, hold on. <laughs> so I close the door on her, man. I go, I go to Rachel, man. He's, hey, he's over here, boom, 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 this and that. So she goes outside. I, I go sit down in the living room, man. They're going fucking the fuck off outside, right there in the fucking, right there in the, right there in the front yard. You know, they're arguing and this and that. I'm just watching TV, bro. Why the motherfucker, the fucking arguing outside? Damn. Okay, God I'm damn. like, fuck, man. And so she, and so he pretty much tells her, he's like, man, I ain't got nowhere to go, man. I ain't got nowhere to go. So she's like, if you want to stay here. You gotta, you gotta stay on the couch. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm like, so he's like, fuck it. So he ends up staying on the couch. This dude ends up staying on the couch like that for like two months, dog. While yeah. I'm in there fucking banging this fucking wife up, dog. God damn. You know what I'm yeah, saying? No. And his family, dude, the whole time, bro, was telling this fool, hey, man, you gotta get away from her, man. You gotta get away that. You like, what get the away. fuck are you doing? Yeah, there, like, they're like, dude, what are you doing? This dude's there, bro. <laughs> like yeah. this, this is this is this is really happening in your life, bro. You know what I'm saying? What are you doing? And so like, he's like, I love her. I'm not. This is just a phase that she's going through, type shit, and this and that, yeah, and blah, blah 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? And so fucking. Anyway, man, they end up uh they end up start going to court for their divorce, man. You know what I'm saying? And so part of the stipulations was I had to get up at the house. You know what mm. I'm saying? <laughs> so fuck it. Damn. And so she was like, man, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Out of my house? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, damn, you know what I'm saying? This is fuck <laughs> and so yeah, man, fucking I dude, she signed that paper, man. I had to get the fuck up out of there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's how I ended up back over here in Corpus, bro. Oh, you really? Know what I'm saying? That's how I ended up back over here in Corpus after that shit right there, man. So you end up back over here in Corpus and then what makes you end up fucking wanting to start your own podcast and shit? Like I, coming I, back to Corpus. I, when I was I did a, when I did a couple podcasts over there with the with Big Boy and the Knowledge Man, I liked it, man. You know what I'm saying? Already. That was dope, man. I, I, I liked it, man. Because there wasn't no podcast or no shit like that popping before. Yeah, no, nah, there was anything. none of that shit. Already. Already. Were y'all nerd. listening to any podcast or anything while you were locked up? Bro, you know what? You know or anything? were y'all just maybe, basically maybe nah, considering bro. a podcast just like another radio show? No, 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 no. What I would listen to in there, bro, was, uh, was a lot of... Uh, Mark Le- Mark Levine. I don't know if you ever heard of him. He has a talk, podcast or what? Talk show host, dude. Okay. So he has a podcast talk show. I would listen to a lot of him. I would listen to a lot of Coast to Coast AM. You know, with George Norrie. That's the conspiracy theories and all okay. that shit. Shout out George Norrie. Hey, bro. That dude right there, he held me down a bunch of sleepless nights in prison, bro. Damn. A bunch of sleepless nights in prison. For real, bro. He told me, like, that's how I got on all the conspiracy shit, dog. Listen okay. to that show, bro. You know what I'm saying? Cause he talks about he talks about like I said conspiracy theories. He'll go down there about the fucking about Nibiru, about, about Planet X and the oh, Anunnaki dude and God the fucking damn. the evil of the fucking Catholic churches and all like all that shit. All like crazy shit, bro. It was dope, bro. It was dope. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, like that's what I would listen to in there, bro. So that was like some of your influences to start your own podcast, would you say? Whenever, like, even though you were going to start your own podcast, so like, we say, kind of like meet the local scene, were, the, were those like some of your influences? Yes. Too, to start yeah. George, I, I would have to say George Norrie, though, was a big influence in that, dog, because, like, I like, he was very, uh, he was very cool, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was very, he was very easy to talk to. Like, you can tell, dog. You know what I'm saying? Whenever he had conversations with people, dog. And he'll just let them talk, man. Oh, you know okay, what I'm saying? Bad, bad. Just let them get their point and across. And he'll let them get their point across, oh, man. Yeah. He wouldn't, he wouldn't really, like, just debate with them or nothing. Yeah, like hell that. yeah. He's like, hey, I'm just, I'm here just to learn. You know what I'm saying? 
what the fuck you got to say, bro? You know what I'm saying? And I, 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 the reason why I started liking shit like that, man, is because when I was in prison, man, how I used to feed myself was I cut hair. Oh, really? You know what I'm saying? Hell so yeah, like, yeah. naturally being a barber, bro, any barber will tell you, bro, you're gonna talk to your, you're gonna talk to your hell customers, yeah, bro. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna get to know them, dude. Hell you know yeah. what I'm saying? And so a lot of people, whenever you cut, the, whenever I would be cutting the hair, just be saying, just be talking. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Hell yeah. And I just chime in every now and then. Oh yeah, 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 boom, boom. And that, that's kind of how like. Me cutting hair, dude, and listening to this dude, and kind of like and that's like your style. Yeah, of, yeah okay. You, you know like you I mean? just basically your style of like throw out the topic and let them and let them get the roll out, dog. Hell, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And so like I, that's I, the side of the shit I like. Shit. Yeah, hell, I like yeah. that shit, dog. You know what I'm saying? I I really do because you learn a lot like that, dog. You learn a lot by listening to people, dog. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? So how do you end up joining TMP well, once you get back to Corpus? And shit. after how long are you in Corpus before you join TMP? Shit. Like the day I came back, you know. What I'm so as soon as you get, are you you already fucking with Caesar whenever you're in Dallas? Yeah, but basically already, yeah, y'all are just fucking around on a texting basis, I'm, FaceTime basis, maybe. I'm, 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 I'm or y'all are sending it up e- y'all are sending each other music back and forth. Yeah, we're back sending then. each other music. Oh back shit, and forth already. Like hell that, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Uh, so whenever you get back down here, like how does how do you join TMP? He asked you, or like was it just like by mutual? Like nah, it was just understanding, dog. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, yeah, I, yeah. I came over there, man. You know, fresh, fresh and Caesar. They embraced me. You know, my brothers, bro. You know what I'm saying? Embrace me, bro. Hey, this is what it is, man. This is what we got going on, bro. You know what I'm saying? Got a part of it, man. And then fucking Caesar was really like, I really made this for you, bro. You know what I'm saying? He's like, I was waiting for you to come home. And so, like, that's kind of how I took it over. You know what I'm saying? Caesar was like, go ahead. He's all like, I don't really want to do this shit, really. You know Already. So he's all like, dude, you know what I'm saying? You can have TNP, though. You Hell know what I'm yeah. I was like, man, shit, fuck it. And so... I had TMP like I had the logos and the, you know what I'm saying even the LOC thing and every you know what I'm saying yeah, like, yeah, it was a real thing that like, he, he gave me the whole fucking thing bro damn you know what I'm saying I'm like damn bro for real he's like yeah dog here you know what I'm saying god damn that's why I'm like fuck so Bad. the 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 deal with fucking with gold toes and them does that come after the gifted project or before no nah, it comes before the gifted project okay so how what that go we'll talk about the gold toes thing a little bit and so yeah when I came, when I got back over here. When I when I got back over here, uh, I made some music with Caesar, man. Uh, I ended up linking up with Gold Toes and then for a GT Digital and shit like that through a chick named Veronica Mendez on my Facebook, bro. I think that's her name, Mendez or Melendez or some shit like that. Already, I ended up. Uh, she was a. I think she was like a like a. She worked over there. She's like an A and R or something like that, bro. And so she fucking uh she told Gold Toes about me. They shot me a contract. They shot me. They shot me a distribution contract. I got a distribution deal with Empire still to this day. I still got that deal. Damn. Yeah, it's still right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, damn. And so uh, I got that deal with I got that deal with GT Digital on them. And uh, I laid my I laid I gave them City Boy or I gave them my EP that I, that I laid down with Caesar when I came. Over, you know what I'm saying? So City Boy was re- all new music that, that you had recorded new, since yeah, you had came home, and you right. gave that to them. I gave that to them. They pushed it around a little bit. They did their little thing with it, man. They helped. Uh, they helped me. Uh, they pretty much like I. I pretty much learned the game through them. You know what I'm saying? Already. Like kind of like how like publishing went and kind of you know paperwork. I, I kind of learned paper. I learned the paperwork game through them, dog. You Already. know what I'm saying? And so that's one thing that I do. I do give them, dog. I, but they, then you said something about y'all had another project that you had turned into them. Yeah, that, I fucking uh. Me, I did a project. If I did you don't a, mind me asking, what kind of contract was it? With not what kind of contract, but was it for like a like a certain amount of projects or something like nah, that? Nah, it was a distribution deal, dog. Whatever, whatever I give them, dog, they just no. They're, okay, they're bet, bet, okay, you know bet, bet. It's so, not for a certain amount of albums. Nah, or like if, that, I, if I want to give them a hundred fucking albums, dog, they, they're, they're going, just going through them. Yeah, bet, it's bet. just going through them. Okay, you know bet, what I'm saying? Bet. And so fucking uh. So anyway, man, with a project that you had said y'all completed in your journey, I, I did a project with a, I did a project with a, with Caesar and Fresh. You know what I'm saying? We did, we did, we did the first TMP project together. You know what I'm saying? Which was called Highly Doubted. Mm. And uh, I gave it, I gave it, I turned it in. I turned it into my my A and R at the time. Well, it wasn't that chick. It wasn't that chick Veronica. It was uh, that dude that just passed away, Big Bert, the one that was over here. Already, R. P. Big Bert. R. P. Big Bert. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he was the A&R for he was he was my A&R at the time, you know what I'm saying? And so uh I turned it into him and uh man, boy never turned it in, bro. You know what I'm saying? He never turned it into the main people. He never turned it into the main people, dog. So like 
I stopped stop fucking with them. You know what I'm saying? Already. <laughs> like, after that, I kind of, I just pulled away. I was like, man, fuck all that. You know what I'm saying? Already. And so, like, yeah, dog. Like, but like I said, I still got that thing, man. Uh, I, I, I pulled away from it for a little bit, man. I started recording some more music and shit like that. And that's how, that's how the Gifted album came. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh. I turned the gifted album into them, and they they they're the ones that fucking distributed that shit. Okay, so that was after Big Bird passed away, man. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay, already. So, and how do you end up linking with with DJ Kane? Uh, I end up linking with DJ Kane over there uh, from uh, from from my boy Juvie, man, uh, that that owns the Pure Him Dispensary. You know what I'm saying? Already, uh, he's having his grand opening right there off of fuck. I think it was Staples, the one that was right there by Pleasures. Okay, I know you're talking about right there on fucking Staples over yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, uh, it was a grand opening for that for, for that for that location right there, man. And uh, he was telling me he's like, "Hey, bro, he's like, uh, DJ Kane's gonna come over here, man. He's gonna he's gonna do a, uh, he's gonna he's gonna perform for me, man. Woo, this and that, man. He's like, you should come over here, go come meet him, up. come meet him. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, all right, bet shit, hell yeah, I go meet him. You know what I'm saying? So I go over there, man. DJ Kane's over there. He's over there singing and shit. He sees me. He's like, what's up, Drew? I'm like, oh, shit. A nigga know me, nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 Hell yeah. And I'm like, oh, shit. A nigga know me, man. Hey, dog. On some real shit. On some, all bullshit aside, man. I'm, I'm, I'm a big DJ Kane fan, dog. Oh, really? I'm a big DJ Kane fan, dog. Real shit. Not, 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 the, not, not the music side, none of that. Just for the fact, bro. He's from the city. You know oh, what really? Yeah. They took it and to the next level. They took it to the next level. Yeah, yeah, nigga, yeah. Multi platinum and all that. Internationally, shit, fucking. Yeah, dog. Yeah. That's that's what makes me a fan of him, dog. You Hell know what I'm yeah. saying? And so, uh, and so after after he gets after he f- finishes his little set, man, uh, we 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 took off to the side, man. You know what I'm saying? He's we start talking, we start talking this and that. So he's like, "Hey, man, just shoot me a beat, bro. I got you." You know what I'm saying? I was like, "Man, for real?" And so he's like, "Yeah, man, shoot me a beat, man. I got you, man." I'm like, man, fuck yeah, I got you, bro. You, know you said, saying? yeah, how much or some shit? And he was like, yeah, yeah, I told him, I was like, hey, how much you gonna charge me? Man? I'm gonna charge you. He's like, man, I got you, man. Don't worry about it. I'll get you for free. Damn, I was like, yeah. man, for real, though? And he's like, yeah, he's like, I got you, man. Just shoot it to me, bro. I was like, bet, bro. So I took off that night, man. Started scrounging, looking for looking for that fucking, looking for a thing. I'm over there fucking with my homeboy, Gabe. Hey, I need a beat, nigga. I need a beat. You, need a beat. you know what I'm saying? He showed me all this other shit. I'm like, nah, I know you got some shit in there, dog. Give me Damn, a beat. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. I'm like, give yeah. me a beat, dog. And so uh, that's how that's how that's how Fuego came along. Oh, I really? found the beat for Fuego, man. I shot at DJ Kane. Dude, fuck it. He shot me the hook back like within an hour, bro. Damn. Within a fucking hour, bro. He's like, hey, check this out, man. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Shot it back. So I fucking I recorded my shit. I shot it to A B. A B recorded his shit, dog. Boom. Sent that bitch in the mix. I'm talking like, dude, we laid that we laid that whole fucking song down, dude, within like within a day, day and a half, dog. Yeah. Yeah. You know what God I'm saying? Damn. Built a relationship with DJ Kane. Just like yeah, that, yeah, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For sure, man. How did you build a relationship with fucking 105.5 well, from the I, beginning? I know y'all was just on there yesterday, but from the beginning, how did you build that relationship? Uh when I came back to the city, man, I was fucking with a Havo G, man. Havo okay. G was doing uh, he was doing some marketing for them at the time. Right. He's actually a DJ over there now, right? If yeah. I'm not yeah. mistaken. Yeah. Uh I was fucking with Havo G, man. And uh he's like, hey, I can get you uh he's I can get you some uh, some com- some commercial time over here, you know what I'm saying? And so I was I was getting I was getting commercial time from them though for pushing my city for pushing my city boy EP. Already. You know what I'm saying? That's how that's how I built it, that's how I got the connection with them. God damn. Yeah, so yeah, shout out Angel D. Everybody over there, Wild 105.5 FM, man. For sure, y'all been on like, what, Z95 also and shit to promote yeah, you and shit? Yeah, How'd yeah. you get that connection and shit? Man, through John Bell, dog. Oh, really? Shout, shout out Big Bell to kill, man. John, dude, hey, dude, John Bell had a lot to do, dude, with my... With this, with with my with my signing and everything, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yo, yeah, say so that was gonna be the next topic. How did y'all get... Uh, how did y'all get end up getting the linking up and getting a deal with the whole 1836 and everything? Uh, fucking uh, through uh, through Andy and Drippy Drew, man. Uh, Drippy Drew got signed over there before every everybody, bro. Oh, you know really? what I'm saying? He was the first one that they actually that they actually picked up. You know what I'm saying? And so drip, so so drip being drip, man. He's like, hey man, check out my boys, check out my boys. Oh, you know really? what I'm saying? And so they started they started they started peeping us and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And so uh, they threw that they threw that DJ Paul show that was over here on December. Yeah, hell mm-hmm. yeah. And so, me, so me and AB, were, were like the ones that did like the most of the promoting for yeah, it. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. 
they gave us a spot, so I, I made the commercial, you know what I'm saying? I fucking... Uh, did y'all's own flyers? Did our own like flyers, that. man. We made the CDs. Did everything. a mixtape and everything. We did a mixtape yeah. and everything. You, you, you scratched some shit Hell up for yeah. us and all that shit, dog. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we did, we did, we did the whole promotion for it, man, and everything, man. And it was, uh, they liked how everything was, dog. They liked, they liked, the, they liked the presentation that we had and everything like that. And then on top of that, man, when we hit the stage, man, we fucking murked that shit. Already, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So the stage performance was almost like an audition. Plus yeah, all the much, other yeah. shit that had been put they were, together. They, they were just trying to see how how we were gonna oh, operate, really? man. Hell you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And so they, they saw it. They saw everything how we how we fucking how we did everything together, man. And so they were they were impressed by that, man. So as soon as we got off the stage, man, I, the first person that came up to was my was my little brother Kevin. You know what I'm saying? They're like, "Hey, man, we didn't fuck with y'all." You know what I'm saying? Damn, hell yeah. And so yeah, that's how I hooked up with them, man. That's how we got that deal, though. God damn, for sure, for sure. So what's coming up next for TMP, man? I know y'all got a project dropping. Y'all got a yeah, single that's re-releasing. Let's talk about yeah, that. Yeah, so just for the weekend, it's getting re-released, man. It's on, it's on May 26, bro. This is going through major like this is going through major distribution. This is gonna have the machine behind it. They're gonna do the whole thing, the whole nine yards, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the album, no hesitation, man, is getting is getting mixed and mastered right now, man. And as soon as I have a date, man, I'll let y'all know. But May 26. Just for the weekend featuring T Rez will be out, man. Y'all go fucking go get that motherfucker, man. For be sure. on all digital platforms, man. It'll even be on the radio over here, man. Y'all could probably even y'all tell you the truth, man. Uh, y'all could probably go request it right now over there on Wild 1055 right now. And Z95. We just we just send them out. We just send them to both to both radio stations already. Yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. That's you what I say. Before we get up out of here, man, let's talk about fucking the radio interview you did yesterday. How did that go? Oh man, we did perfect, dog. We did good on that radio interview, man. It was good, man. You know, really, in all honesty, man. I'm glad. I'm glad that we did. I'm glad that we did our radio interview over there, dog. Because like, I re- we already have a relationship with them, like a like a person, a more personal relationship. Yeah, with hell them. yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so that was dope, man. You know what I'm saying? They made us feel like at home, bro. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, man. Trace Boogie, man. Shout out, bro. Shout out, oh, shout out, Trace hey, dog. He's he's doing his best shit, bro. I'm not gonna lie, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out, Trace Boogie, him, man. man, for sure. Hell yeah, man. Shit. You got anything else before we get up out of here, man? Man, dog. Uh, thank everybody, man, for fucking rocking out with me, man. You know what I'm saying? Seeing all my seeing all my shit talking, seeing all my flaws, all that shit, man. I love y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? Thank y'all. Sure. Uh shit, real shit, dog. Tell them where they can follow you at, man, before we get up out of here. Follow me on Drooping Marines, man, on Facebook, fucking Instagram. I got my TikTok going up, dog. I'm not doing no dancing, nigga. So, <laughs> it's nothing but reels of this podcast. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, go follow me on TikTok, YouTube, everything. Drooping Marines, man. You know what I'm saying? TMP, though. Already, man. It's your boy, DJ Lil King. Appreciate my dog, Alex, sitting in with me yeah. for this interview. You know what I'm saying? Y'all go follow us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, all that good shit at Rod yeah. High Podcast, man. TikTok. TikTok, TikTok, all that good shit. All that good shit. It's your boy DJ Lil King, man. Riding Hot Podcast. We out this bitch, man. Your boy DJ Lil King, you know what I'm saying?